call my next guest everything from the undercover brother to the emperor of stand up. I call him hilarious. His new special is hilarious. It's called You Can Tell Him I Said It. It airs this Saturday night on Comedy Central. First time on Lopez tonight, Eddie Griffin, everybody. <laughs> In my 31 years of doing stand-up, I've seen a lot of specials. Yes, sir. This is one of the funniest ones I've ever seen. Congratulations. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. And it has the funniest opening line I've ever heard of, of any special. Yes. Which is? I want to <laughs> Michelle Obama. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? <laughs> Ain't it the truth? <laughs> See, a lot of people think it. <laughs> I say it. Because when you look at that woman, man, that woman is fine. And I'm waiting on Obama to mess up. If he do a Bill Clinton, I'm sliding right in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. Is, is, he, is he blacker than people, than, than people give him credit for? Yes, he's, uh, you know, because, you know, I think he's like half white if I remember how it went. You know, because you hear so many things from the Tea Party and the Rednecks that he ain't really from the country and he might be from Barbados and his mama's from Mars. You know, so I know it's some black in there because I looked at the skin. And, uh, you know, people think he's kind of bougie or whatnot, you know, because the brother's educated, but I think he's got some black in him because he put a swing set on the White House line. <laughs> now, that's some blackness there, you know. And on top of that, he threw the first barbecue in White House history. <laughs> Tell me that ain't hood. <laughs> he invited the NBA, the NFL. I think I was the only brother that wasn't there. Because somebody told him I'm looking for Michelle. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like that. Even though he ran against Hillary Clinton, he gave her a job. Yes, he did. That's called big pimping. <laughs> Oh, no, only a pimp would do that. A pimp's like, look at here, you know, I know you was talking shit about me during this election, <laughs> but I'm gonna go and let this slide give you a job. And he gave her a job called Secretary of State, and the Secretary of State's job is to stay the hell out the country. <laughs> <laughs> and the happiest one about it is Bill Clinton. <laughs> Bill Clinton sitting at home, thank you, Obama, I can get down every day now. <laughs> This is a big weekend in L.A. It's NBA All-Star Game weekend. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. I'm sure that you yourself have noticed the influx of hoes. Uh, they started flying in on Monday uh, because, you know, you got every professional basketball player, star, in one city at one time. The hoes have flown from Africa. <laughs> You know, they came in from China, you understand me? And if you are over six foot tall, this is your week. Because <laughs> they're looking for anything tall. They think you're in the NBA. Now, you and me, we ain't getting nothing this week. You know, you're under six foot, we might as well just sit on down and watch the game at home, you know. Yeah, you go to a lot of games, right? I see you at the games. I've seen you at the games. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know that little private? What goes on in there? They're private. They got this private room. Uh, you know, you smoke your cigars and whatnot and got little barco lounges for you to lay out, little jumbotrons in there. You know, they laid the staples yeah. in there out. And a lot goes on back there. You know, I run into Miss Marshall, Penny Marshall back there all the time. Yes. You know? And we back there, Habla Espanol, and a couple things. You, 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 you going to the game? Yes, I'm going to the game. You taking, were you taking one of your kids to the game? I'm taking my oldest boy, Eddie Jr., who's 25 now. You have a kid that's 25? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. How many kids do you have? I have nine children. You have nine kids? Mexicans ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> Shit. You might be from Barbados. You know what I mean? Or Mexico. <laughs> yeah. How do you end up with nine kids? Oh, uh, man, you know, uh, you lay down with the woman. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you've done it before. You know. uh, no, uh, well, I got married the first time. I was 16 years old. My childhood sweetheart, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. And, uh, you know, Kansas City's a small city, you know, and you either get married there and have children or you die. <laughs> so 
I got married, you know, and we had grown up next door to each other, and uh, we stayed married for 13 years and had our one beautiful son, Junior, together. And after 13 years, we the only person that each other ever had sex with. Yeah. So we still best friends, but we grew apart. It's like, I want to try something else. She's like, I like to try something else, too. I'm like, cool, let's do that. <laughs> you know, I didn't know I was going to try some of everything. <laughs> yeah. Because fame does that to you. You know, before I was famous, I was Eddie Griffin, little funny dude. Yeah. Soon as I did that first HBO special, women started saying, you know, you kind of cute. You handsome. I'm like, well, all right, let's partake in the festivities. <laughs> Comedy has been good to me. So, so you, you, uh, uh, um, you're engaged again? Yes, and daddy feed the needy, yes. Have you, have you ever considered, like, a, a, a condom? Or... Uh, I don't believe, uh, you know, I tried it once. <laughs> and it just wasn't in my size, I guess. <laughs> uh, you know, because this look like a leg, don't it? <laughs> you know what I'm Every time I go to the bathroom, I gotta take my shoe off. You know? <laughs> but <laughs> it wasn't in my size, and you know, it was just, you know, constrictive. And then I started thinking, I said, God didn't make us to wear a balloon. <laughs> You know, so that's out. And, you know, I ain't scared of AIDS. I had it three times. Band-Aid, Kool-Aid, financial AIDS. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes get vasectomies when they, when they get to almost, you know, in their 40. They don't want to have any more children. Yes, my, my mother had asked me to do that after the eighth child. <laughs> uh, she's like, I think you might want to go in and, you know, uh, cut it. I said, that's easy for you to say. You don't have one. <laughs> I don't want nobody coming at me with a straight red to talking about we gonna fix that kid problem. <laughs> I said, the kids are not a problem. The problem is, yeah, they work. <laughs> you know, I got some tadpoles for you. They know where the egg at. <laughs> you see, if I look at you too long, you gonna get pregnant. <laughs> well, are you gonna uh, when you get married, will you have another child, do you think? Yes, uh, I'd like a small village called Griffin. <laughs> uh, you, no, you potentially could have hundreds of grandkids. Well, uh, that, that, that could be true, but it don't look like that's going to happen. Because as a parent, you know, uh, kids look at you as an example of what to do, but also an example of what not to do. Uh. My oldest boy is 25, been with one woman since high school, and has no kids, just graduated college. Because he's like, congratulations. Oh. You know, he looked at his daddy as like, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and we, we, when we do stand up, we use profanity. Yes, we do. We do. And, yes. and it's, it's how we talk, we it's talk. how we, we communicate. Does yeah. your, did your mom get mad at you for cussing? Uh, my mother uh, actually out cusses me. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I get it from. You know, if you've seen the last concert, Dysfunctional Family, with her in it, moms know how to cuss. I thought my name was Mother <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> Take out the trash. Mother <laughs> wash the dishes. Mother <laughs> cut the yard. When she said Eddie, I said, who the hell is that? He's <laughs> crying. The mic is crying. That's hilarious. That's yeah, hey, you can find out where you can see Eddie live. Go to LopezTonight.com. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Eddie Griffin, everybody. Thank you, baby. When we come back, the cast of Rock of Ages will perform. Great.